It is time to make our week three picks, and we're going to do it confidence style. We're going to be doing this every single week. So what games do I have the most confidence about? What games do I have the least amount of confidence about? Let's roll through it right now. Well, welcome back to New York Sports Wicker Media. I am Watsu K99. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. So what we're going to do is something I did last week in the Sunday Sports Sermon. We're going to do NFL confidence picks. What we're going to do is pick the winner of every game. I don't pick uh, against the spread. I pick winners. And we're going to rank them all 16 to 1. So you pick every number. For those who have never done a confidence uh, pool, you rank every game 16 through 1. So you use every number one time. The game you have the most confidence in, you assign the highest number to. So the game that you have the most confidence in for this week, you would assign that game 16 points. The game you have the least confidence in, you give that just one point. So you're uh, betting the most on the games you are most confident in the outcome. Now to give you a recap of how I've done the last uh, two weeks, I started out in week one, 9, 6, and 1, 66 points total. That's not too great, although week one is the hardest week to pick, probably out of any of them. But the most points you could have for a full 16-game schedule is 136. Week two, we improved a little bit. We went 11 and 5, 93 points. Much, much better. And right now, that has me at the 92.7% ranking out of all confidence players in the country. So, got to feel pretty good about being in that 90s ranking. So, we're going to roll through uh, the week three schedule and break down the winner and maybe give you a thought or two about each game. So, let's roll right through it. Number 16. The game that I have the most confidence in is the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, last week, the Colts had just five quarterback pressures in the whole game. And uh, Matt Ryan at this point is basically totally frazzled. And uh, Gus Bradley Gus Bradley is the Colts' defensive coordinator now. And uh, that defense is not working as well as a lot of it. A lot of us thought it would. I think Patrick Mahomes is going to pick them apart. It is not going to go very well. well actually, Gus Bradley was with the Raiders. Uh, yeah, he was with the Raiders last year. Mahomes dominated that defense. He'll dominate this defense too. Number 15, L.A. Rams over the Arizona Cardinals. I think uh, the Cardinals had a fantastic win last year, but it comes down to Sean McVay versus Cliff Kingsbury. And McVeigh is 6-1 and one against Kingsbury. The Rams have scored 30 or more points in five of those games. Number 14, game I have the third most confidence in. I've got the New Orleans Saints over the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Baker Mayfield just keeps holding the ball. He is not doing well with facing outside pressure. I could see the Saints linebacking duo of Pete Werner and Demario Davis having a pretty big game here. So Saints over the Panthers. So that is 14. Let's go to 13. I'm going to pick the Chargers over the Jaguars. Uh, I do believe Justin Herbert will play. And even if he didn't play, I think I would still take the Chargers over the Jaguars. I think it's time for Austin Eckler to get going after a slow start to the season. So I'm going Chargers over Jaguars. Number 12, we're going to go to the NFC East. I've got the Philadelphia Eagles over the Washington. I don't really like to say their last name because I think it's ridiculous. But... I don't think that uh, Washington lives up to what Philadelphia can do. I really think Philadelphia is the runaway favorite to win the NFC East. And uh, if Washington did have Chase Young, I'd feel a little bit more optimistic. The truth is I just don't have a lot of faith in Washington. Number 11, I'm going to go Buffalo over Miami. Now, this one's a little bit tougher for me to call because the Bills are dealing with some injury issues, and they have a little bit of a short week since they played on Monday. Uh, I think it's going to be a close game. I think it's going to be under a touchdown. But at the end of the day, I don't think that Miami's going to be able to go down the field on Buffalo when it really, really counts. So number 11, give me Buffalo over Miami. Number 10, we're going to go Seattle over Atlanta. Uh, that's a game that I think uh, fans are going to have to be paid to go to the game uh, to watch uh, Marcus Mariota versus Geno Smith. Uh, I just, I don't know. I guess with this game... 
I think I'm, with anything, I think it's the uh, lack of faith that I have in the Falcons' defense. I just don't have much confidence in them. I expect an ugly, uh, turnover-filled game. I just, uh, but at the end of the day, I'm just going Seattle. Uh, not the most confidence in that one. Number nine, we're going to go with a little bit more of a marquee matchup. It's the NFC's uh, game of the week: Tampa Bay versus Green Bay. Uh, I think the Bucks' defense is just that good. I know everybody is going to give the offense all the credit, but for me, the Tampa Bay defense is probably the second best in football, only to Buffalo. And I don't uh, think I have enough faith right now in Green Bay moving the ball against them. As much as I love Aaron Rodgers, I think he's the most talented quarterback that I've ever seen. I don't. I don't know. I think Green Bay has been just a little bit out of whack, and Tampa Bay can make the stops when they have to make them. So with number nine. Give me Tampa Bay over Green Bay. Now we're going to go to eight. I'm going to go Cowboys over the Giants here. I think Micah Parsons is going to take this game over. I think the Giants have been living a little bit of a charmed life. Going 2-0 to start off, I think this is going to be their reality check, even with Cooper Rush uh, at quarterback. I think it's time for Ezekiel Elliott to have a pretty big game or Tony Pollard to have a big game. But I think uh, the Dallas defense is going to uh, shut down Daniel Jones and the Giants defense. The what the Giants offense. The only question I have is what will Saquon Barkley do in this game? That's like the one thing I think that could turn that game over. But I'm going to go Dallas. Number seven, I'm going to go mm, – this is a tough one, but I'm going to go Rams uh, – not Rams, 49ers over the Broncos. Mostly because the Broncos' offensive line has not been that good. And, you know, a lot of people are really questioning the coaching style, I, you know, with uh, Nathaniel Hackett. You know, in the close games, so often it can come down to coaches' decisions. And uh, right now, you got to have more faith in Kyle Shanahan. And I think Jimmy Garoppolo is going to help that passing game run a lot smoother. George Kittle's coming back. That's a big deal as well. Uh, I think the Niners are going to throw the ball very well in this game. So give me the Niners over the Broncos with number seven. Number six, NFC North Showdown, Minnesota versus Detroit. I like Minnesota. I think that the Lions defense is the issue in this game. I don't think they're stopping Dalvin Cook, Justin Jefferson, Kirk Cousins, and Irv Smith, who is uh, doing pretty well so far. So give me Jefferson and Cook to take this game over. Minnesota knocks off Detroit. Number four, number five, Baltimore over New England. The, you know, the Patriots' defense has given up just two touchdowns, but I don't think they're going to be able to stop the Ravens' offensive line. Uh, Lamar Jackson, I think, has the ability to make a uh, strong but not too fast New England defense look uh, pretty inferior. I, I like the Ravens to uh, beat the Patriots. I think a late Justin Tucker field goal wins the game. Number four, I haven't gotten to the Jets yet, have I? Well, I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to say the Jets beat the Bengals. Greg Zerline is going to have a late field goal. Elijah Moore has a breakout game. And the Jets defense uh, continues to harass Joe Burrow. And uh, Joe Burrow continues to get the yips. This is not going to be a very good start for uh, oh, Southern Ohio and Kentucky. It is not going to go well for them. Jets beat the Bengals for the second straight year in MetLife Stadium. Number three, Chicago Bears versus the Houston Texans. I like Chicago. Another game that is going to be very painful to watch. Uh, but let's – let's. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go with a low-scoring game on this one with Davis uh, Mills versus Justin Fields. But the Bears do have a couple of sneaky good uh, weapons. This uh, St. Brown kid's been very good. I don't know why they refuse to target Darnell Moody. I think it's time for him to get going in this game. Uh, I'm going to go with the Bears. Uh, number two I picked for the, was my Thursday night pick. I did pick Pittsburgh over Cleveland. Lost that game. Not a big deal. Just lost two points. That's fine. And number one is the Raiders versus Titans. I'm going to pick the Raiders in this one. Uh, I'm flip-flopping on this one, too, uh, a ton. This is a... For me, just about the toughest game to pick. I think that Devontae Adams has a big game. I think that they're going to hear the call, the Raiders will, of the media and the fans saying get Devontae Adams involved. I think he will get involved, and I believe he will torch Tennessee uh, for a pair of touchdowns in this game. All right, those are my picks. Let's uh, check back next week to see how we did. I'll see you back here with more content from you know where, the Wicker Chair.